Hello, welcome back to Georgie B's Cards and Stuff. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. I don't think you can see it very well. I made this card using the stamp set Free as a Bird. And I'm using this, but I'm cutting it off from there so I just have the last bird. And the sentiment is, thanks for being you. Oh, and these tiny flowers. Three of them. To cut out this, where the bird is, I used Stitch So Sweetly. I think that's called. Yeah. And I used this one, which is one, two, the second largest die. No, I never used that one. Get it right. That one. So this is the third largest die I used. Or third smallest. <laughs> Whichever way you want to look at it. I'm going to keep that there. I'm going to change the colour. This is Pale Papaya. One of the new in colours. And this one is Fresh Freesia. So I've got a card base of eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths scored up for a one eighth folded in half let's move that out of the way i've got another piece at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths and as you can see i've already embossed it here only embossed half of it i've got a piece of vellum here and i don't know yeah there you are you can see it's shimmery one side and it's just dull on the other side this is a new product and coming out in the new catalogue um, I got this in my pre-order comes in five colours you get ten sheets and yes it's quite nice vellum so you get it in fresh freesia pale papaya so succulent um, some evergreen, always evergreen, or what's the fifth colour? Um, so succulent, always evergreen. One, two, three, four. Can't tell you what the other colour is. Oh, polished pink. That's what it is. And that will sit up there. I've also cut from the nesting dies. This one, I think, is the second largest one. That's going to go on there like that. Oh, I know what I forgot to get out. The leaves. As we're going to stamp on that. And then I've got a piece of scrap for the bird and the flowers. So let's get started with our stamping. It's all one colour. There is no other colour. So I'm using fresh freesia. And we're going to stamp. I only want the end bird, so I'm not going to stamp it all. Um, that go on there? No. So I have to do it this way. Like that. Well, that's a pretty colour that. Get that cleaning cloth out. Nice and wet because I just washed them. Oh, I never rinsed them. I should leave that. Wash them properly afterwards. Right, now then, for the sentiment, I'm just going to stamp that down there. Thanks for being you. We'll cut that out shortly. Right. On this die cut here, what I did was stamped some leaves 
like that and one this way we'll put our bird there mind you that will be chopped off and we need to stamp just looking for a scrap of white for the flower and we just need three of these and we'll need to cut these out by hand and that's that so with our scissors just quickly cut around these flowers and I'm just leaving a white border all the way round there's one Just waiting on my new order coming. Should be here today sometime. I hope to. Yeah, that didn't take long, did it? Keep that scrap. Get rid of that. Right, now we have to bring our machine in because we're going to cut out this bird. Now, the way I did it, as you can see, the die is too small. But I don't want it that long so I am going to just cut them birds off and cut down there and I'm going to place that like that there put a bit of tape to keep it there and I'm going to run that through Now I want to shorten it, I don't want it that long. So what I'm going to do is just pop this back in a bit further up and cut it again. So I'm taking a bit more than that off, go up another one. Make sure they're all sitting back in. They do go back in. Put that there so it don't move. And then just run it in and just run it over the top. You don't need to go all the way down. makes it smaller so you just cut it out for one end or the other the length where you want it to be 
and then you bring the die back down and cut it again to make it smaller which is quite easily done if you don't want that size right the sentiment I have to cut which is that Right, now all we've got to do is put this together. So let's extra glue there as it is a embossed part. Right, this we're going to stick on there like that only to this straight bit we don't need this pointy end so I am going to pop that down hopefully straight in the middle and then we're going to trim this off like that didn't put it on straight that's it and this is going to get glued on there. Now I glued all this and then yeah lay that down there like that. Oh guess what I forgot to do? I forgot to put some twine on. I don't think I can lift it. No. I'll just do a bow. That's what I'll do. This is going to go either side of the leaves on dimensionals and that will go there on dimensionals with the flowers round it. So get our dimensionals out. on this and mini dimensionals on this one and a mini dimensional on these flowers Just one on each in the middle. I'm actually going to put one of these in the middle. Take the backs off. And place that. Like that. And this just there. I'm going to place this one just there. As you can see, I'm just overlapping them 
slightly. Now obviously we've got two flaps here so now I know where the flower and the sentiment is I can pop a bit of glue down but I've also found that if you put a mini glue dot in each corner because of the texture of the vellum you can't see them very well Got these mini, mini, mini glue dots. And I'll just put one in each corner. There we are. And that will not come up. I like the purple version. Right, I will just tie a bow here. just a small bow that's it and we're gonna pop that and we'll just pop that there a bit of glue down and pop that down on top and also just pop a bit of glue there to stick it under the sentiment to keep it down. There we are. Can you see that? Well, where did that come from? And that is our card for today. Hope you like it. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my cards, please subscribe. And if you press the bell icon, you'll be notified of any more videos I upload, which is usually on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting, and I hope to see you again soon.